Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at data recovery and trying to get back that precious data that you may have lost either due to a corruption of Windows, a failure of upgrade to Windows or whatever it may be that uh, has happened to you. Now getting data back via data recovery is pretty simple and I always get asked a lot of questions about is it still possible to get my data back uh, after I've reformatted Windows because of maybe uh, a failed Windows 10 up installation and it's tried to roll back and now uh, the uh, Windows has not installed properly and not rolled back properly and now you're left with no data. The answer to that question is yes, you can still recover your data. You want to recover your data as soon as possible. So don't use your computer for months on end and then try to get your data back because some of it will be fragmented and corrupted, okay? So let's take a look at some software we're gonna use. We're gonna be using the ESUS uh, tool to recover uh, data here. Now, this is a free trial. You can download the free trial here. Uh, I'm gonna be using the pro version, and we'll take a look at that in a second. But the free trial will only allow you to recover up to two gigabytes, okay? So bear that in mind, guys. If you are gonna be recovering more than two gigabytes, you're gonna to need to purchase the full version, okay? Um, needed Mac date recovery, they do a Mac version here. If you come down, you'll see more information here. You can take more time to read this. Deleted file recovery, raw uh, hard drive recovery, partition recovery. You've seen me cover some of these before, uh, but I wanna try to uh, cover this with different software so you can see what the options are. This does do a very good job at recovering data. Uh, it's pretty successful. I've used it quite a few times, but you can see here, you've got all your information, launch, scan, recover. That's their method uh, and what they're uh, putting up on the screen here. So you can see if you come through here, we're gonna do a, a comparison and this is what we're gonna be using, okay? Now, again, I can't stress enough that the trial version will only allow you to recover two gigabytes. So don't sit there for hours on end doing a, a scan and then realizing you can only recover two gigabytes you might as well just pay for it how much is your data worth to you well i can tell you right now that if you purchase this uh, this piece of software to recover your data i'm pretty sure it's what all your data is worth more than 69.95 uh, now if you sent this to a data recovery specialist they will charge you hundreds if not thousands of dollars or pounds to recover your data so let's take a look at this uh, software in action. So what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna download this. And I'm gonna start to download it. You can see it downloading in the bottom left-hand corner. We'll go through step by step so you can see how easy it is. So this might be a bit of a long video, but wait till this to finish its download. Once that's done, you will be able to click on this and start to install. And we'll go through the installation process as well. So what I'm gonna do is close this background off here. Now we're gonna install. Click on run. Say yes to the user account control. Now, whether you're on a Windows 7 machine, Windows 10, Windows 8, it doesn't really matter. You can still use this software and you can still recover your data. So bear that in mind. You can choose your language here. There's loads of different languages. We're gonna be selecting English. Click OK. Once you've done that, I'm gonna go next and accept their license terms. If you wanna read through this, you can. I'm gonna click next and then you can see here now, it's saying to prevent further data loss, please don't install this product on the drive you want to recover data from. So just bear that in mind, okay? What that means basically is if you're trying to recover data from your C drive and you've only got one drive called C drive, you can't install this software onto that C drive and then try to recover data from that C drive because it can't do that, okay? You need to have a separate drive or partition to recover the data too. So I hope that makes that clear. So we're gonna confirm this, name it what you like. I'm gonna leave it as default, click next, desktop icon, click install. Okay, so now all we need to do is uh, launch our program click finish and it takes you back to their page 
Okay, so now I've got a license key here, so I'm going to add this license key in, and you can see that up here by activate. So I've got my license key. I'm going to activate this now. It's now asking for my license key. I shall blur this part out so you can't see it. And you can see activation is now successful. So if you've purchased yours, that's exactly what you do. Download the trial and then activate it. Pretty easy to do. Okay, so now we get to this stage where it says select types of lost files. Now you can choose whatever files you want to try to recover. So if you're just trying to recover um, pictures, then you don't need to really select all the other stuff like audio, video, and email documents. You could just select uh, pictures so you could just basically remove these ticks like so and just concentrate on graphics which will be JPEGs, PNGs, B, uh, BMP and etc. Okay, but if you do want to uh, just just go for the whole uh, range of files that this program can search for then you may want to uh, select all of them. Now up the top here before we continue you can see we've got feedback up here We've got import scan status. We've got more here, which gives you some other bits and pieces here. Your language, uh, contact project manager via email, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, contact technical support, online help, uh, check for updates, data backup, help us translate and about. Okay. So I'm going to go next. Now what this program will do is try to run a quick scan on that drive and recover uh, lost data. And sometimes that can be quite successful and recover your data that quickly. But if it doesn't, then you're going to have to run a deep scan. And deep scans will take a, a, a long time to run, depending on the, the size of the drive and how fast your computer is and, and stuff like that. So just bear that in mind. So we're just going to do this small drive here. You can see there's no data on this drive here. But if you was doing your larger drives, that would take a lot longer to run scans on. I'm doing this just because of the tutorial, uh, but basically you would run scans on whatever you've lost your data on, i.e. the C drive for Windows, or it will be your Windows 10 drive, depending on what you want to do. Okay. Next we're going to go scan. This will run a quick scan, and if it doesn't find anything, it will start to run a deep scan. So it never found nothing on the quick scan and now it's automatically doing a deep scan to try and find more. If it doesn't, there'll be a little box down here which you can click on deep scan and run that, okay? Now deep scan's gonna uh, scan that drive sector by sector and try to find data on that drive. And it will take a long time depending on the size of your drive as well, okay? So you may want to uh, walk away from the machine while it's running because it may take a number of hours to complete its full scan. So I'm just going to leave this running here because of the quickness you can see it's starting to find stuff on this drive and you see there was no data on there. Okay so that scan is now finished and as you can see here it will leave you these two areas here. You can see lost partition 1 NTFS and you've also got more lost files on your raw. So if you click on these areas here, you can come through here and you will find your data. Now, if you click on these folders, you'll see, if I look on Chrome here, for instance, yours, you'll be looking for your images of your photo of your children, holidays, wedding, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but you can see here, if I click on any of these, it'll give me a preview of what those images are and these are the images that it's a uh, pull back on this uh, thumb drive here now obviously this was because this was a, a thumb drive with some um, Windows PE files on it so you can see these are the type of files it's pulling off uh, but yours will be pictures of your family holiday and, and, and whatnot uh, and music and stuff they'll be all listed here so you can get a general idea of how you can uh, find that data on your drive you will have to root for it again and uh, you will see here even the more lost files which is your raw data here you can see there's a little spanner there but if you wanted to recover any of this data uh, you would then select on what you want to recover and we'll do we'll do that now let me just do, do this chrome one just for instance here and now all you do is put the ticks in the folders that you want to recover 
and then you would click on recover so if we look here this is the uh, area where we can start saving our data to and you would just select which area you want to save it to for instance if I wanted to save it in here I could then make a new folder inside here if I wanted to it would now create a new folder I can call this backup and this is where we're gonna save our data to okay and there you see it there it's opening up that location and it's allowed us to recover this data as you can see here now these obviously would be photos that you've recovered but you can see it's recovered these images here uh, from that folder but that's how basically you can recover data it's that easy and that simple and it's recovered all that data when that drive was completely wiped as you can see there okay so anyway you can see recovery complete and you can recover whatever data you want on here whether it be executable files um, whether it'll be images whether it be music videos all that sort of good stuff so let me just uh, click OK here. You can see that's been saved to this location. And I can now close this off. Now also, again, you can export your scan status here as well. And there's some other bits and pieces up here. You've got the preview pane, which will show you the preview of the images along on this part here, rather than um, opening up a little pop out box. And you can change the details you can change all this up here the preview area as you can see you can change this to whatever you like and you can use these little tabs here also just to look for for quickness so if you wanted to just look for audio files you would click on the audio and all your audio would be listed here obviously there's no audio on this pen drive but there would have been audio if there was audio on there and the same thing for graphics and so on okay so this is what you would need to do if you want to get your data back I'm going to click close here and you can save this would you like to save the current scan so if you wanted to open this again at a later date you can also do that and save um, I'm going to click no uh, but that will allow you to go back to it just in case you for, uh, forgot something you can open it back up and pull that data back off again so anyway so I hope this one helps you out guys that's uh, how you can recover all your lost data my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when i upload new videos i do generally about three or four a week and also if you've got any problems with your computers you can head over to the forums or any video requests that's probably the best place to go is go to the forums there's a little section on there and if you haven't joined my facebook fan page then pop over there and give us a little like up over there it doesn't cost you anything anyway thanks again bye for now